Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to analyze the map because I wasn't able to do it in my last analysis video. So yeah, just be aware that there's going to be spoilers throughout. So yeah, to start off we can obviously see the beginning area is towards the bottom middle. We can see that uh, right there in the beginning is where the people, the people, where the protagonists live because it looks exactly like the house. And if you see, you keep going down, you see another house. Uh, and you also see a battle area behind. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's a gym battle place, but it is something to be aware of. Whose house that could be? Could be Penny's. Could be Nimona's. Realistically, it's probably Penny. Alright, this is future me while I'm editing this. I'm, I was saying that it's probably Penny's and I keep referring to it as probably that, that house is Penny's house. But realistically, it might just be Nimona's because uh, in the first trailer and pretty much every tra trailer that that house is in, if you look at it, Nomona's always there, so it might have something to do with Nomona. So realistically, it's probably more directly tied to Nomona. Might not be her house, but like maybe somebody connected to her. So if we go up the trail, we see that there's a tower. This tower was used to show for the three because it showed the car, the gym leader building, and this, and this could be used for the treasure hunt and we can see later on if we scroll over towards the right you can see that there's actually a blue one yeah if you scroll all the way to the right you can see that there's a blue one there's a red and a blue one i by the way i'm doing this on the fly so there could be a green one just so it can be the the typings but yeah as far as i know there ain't one yet but yeah if we continue you can see that there's another town there's a little bridge you can see that there's a little town you can see that there's that there's a Pokemon Center and it seems that all the Pokemon Centers seem to be more outside instead of buildings you walk inside to. So there's that, there's the buildings probably just like the Viridian City, the the Cumula Town, the you know, just the beginning town. And you can see that if you go around that there's another Pokemon Center, you can see that there's also access to the right of the fence that there's a way for you to use your Crinon Rhinon. So there's that. You can see that if you walk through the little hallway, I guess, you can actually enter Mezagoza. And you can see that through Mezagoza, you can see that there's a bunch. You can see two. There's two Pokemon Centers. <laughs> Had to count real quick. You can see that there's obviously the Academy. And just to say right now and straight up, just taking a quick look at the map, there doesn't seem to be a place that obviously is the Pokemon Center. So that could take place for the Pokemon Center because also while I was doing my analysis video and I was just checking out the video uh, afterwards when it fully rendered, I was thinking about those models because there was a uh, character models where I mentioned that they looked important but not too important. But I actually feel like they're important because there is three I think and I was thinking about Jock's role and I was thinking what if Jock is like Professor Kukui or I mean not exactly Professor Kukui but you know what if he's part of the Elite Four and it makes sense because the school is the only place that looks like it would be the Pokemon League and the teachers would be the Elite Four so yeah just so I can say that right now uh, there's obviously the fighting lady. She probably gonna be fighting type, meaning that it's probably, probably not gonna be a fighting type. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna get into spoilers right here and right now. So yeah, from what I've seen, somebody who leaks stuff has actually confirmed that those four are actually the gym leaders. I mean, the elite four, and then I already you know we we already know that the gym leaders were leaked. There's that, but we also know the typings. So there's an old lady, she's flying, then there's another lady, she's dragging, and then it's actually confirmed that Jock is the steel type, which I think is pretty cool. And obviously, they might not be, but I don't know, to me it makes sense. They could just literally be there for stand-ins, like unique character models, and but we know that at least the Elite Four has a fighting, a flying, a dragon, and a steel. So yeah. Alright, so the leak I was using as a reference for the gym leaders and the Elite Four leaks 
Yeah, disregard that because supposedly the damn fucking leaker got the damn info wrong. This pisses me off so fucking much. How the fuck are you gonna call yourself a leaker and then get the fucking leak wrong? You're not a leaker then. Because Koo, Riddler Koo, he posted an image and it says E4, obviously referring to E4, and it was an image. That motherfucker and the image was not one that the other leaker put. So, fuck that fucking leaker, because he fucking, like, I don't know, bro. Why the fuck would you call yourself a leaker and not even be right? Not even be right. I mean, the motherfucker is still a teacher, so the theory that that motherfucker is still a teacher and all that shit could still be right. But come on, dude. And just to throw it in there, the gym leaders, they were leaked. Those are right. There's just still one missing. So that's that's good. It's just the Elite Four. The other three could be right. But one motherfucker is not the one that fits. And I think it might be Jock, so yeah. You can see that there's all this. You can see the little buildings. You can see all of this. Uh, I was trying to see if this is the place where the neon, the neon sign of the Meowth was, but it might be later on. You can see it's just little buildings. Nothing really stands out. There's a little tree to the right. You can see that there's a battleship to the left. You can see another little like town square to the left. Uh, you can see obviously strat smack dab in the middle is the 18 types with the crystal so there's that so if you continue to the left you can see that there's once again another pokemon center and towers there's also something that i should mention if you see throughout the entire map you can see yellow and orange stuff that looks like it's glowing looks like it's glowing it's supposed to represent that it's glowing and it's all over the map and i personally wonder what they represent because they're not there for just stupid reasons as you can see if you go straight into the middle it's right there and you could that's where you clearly see that's glowing so i personally wonder what the purpose is like is it supposed to represent that like time is being distorted because you know the fact that you know this game obviously has a connection with time so there's that uh so yeah you can see the towers the tower, the brown towers look completely different to the color ones because they got two levels, but the other one just has one. So their purpose could be different, but the colored ones could be like the leader, I guess. I don't know how to say like the leader, but like the main one. And these are like the simpler ones. So if you continue going and you actually enter the little town, you can see that there's two Pokemon centers. And you can actually see that there's a battle area. This battle area could be for a grass type or it could be a, for a bug type because i'll just get into it now there uh, there's obviously eight gym leaders and the typings are psychic ice grass normal water bug electric and ghost so this could either be the grass one or this could be the bug one i would tend to go for the grass one because it looks like the fields might be like the small of shit it's like small would be here and if you're wondering how I, why I think that this is a gym leader place is because it has the gym leader building, it has the gym leader battle thing, and it has a green color around it. And the green color represents uh, for obviously bug or grass. Because if we go all the way north to where Grusha's ba gem battle thing is, you can see that's blue. And it has, it's obviously blue because, you know, he's a nice type. So yeah, continuing back and going back to the town. If you see the town, you can see that... There's obviously the rose bushes, not the rose bushes, but the bushes, and they could represent small of and its evolution because I think that has also been leaked. So yeah. And to quickly go back to Mizagoza, you can actually see that there's a cave, and through the cave, you can actually see that there's another building, and it has a, a Pokemon Center. This could be a gym battle place. It could be the Pokemon League. But I don't know. It could just be like a little battle place like what the Rose Stadium was. It could be. That could be the the Pokemon League though. So just, you know, we need to keep that in mind. Now if we go back to the town and we continue through the path, we can actually see that there's another Pokemon Center and we can actually see a bunch of windmills. We've seen them we saw the windmills in the fucking we saw the windmills in the first trailer, I believe, so there's that. We can actually see that there's actually 
two different types of windmills. There's the thicker ones, and then there's the ones that's obviously meant for wind energy. The thicker ones could just be used to store stuff. Maybe Quaxley could be the Don Quixote that everyone wanted. So yeah. If you actually go south, you can actually see that it leads to another town. And this town doesn't look like it has a gym leader place, but it does have a tower, so another tower in another town just for maybe fast travel, which is probably the reason for it being there. So you can see that, oh, wait a minute, I almost missed it. It does have a fucking battle place, a gym battle place, because if you see, it actually is right there, and it seems to be that that could, I don't know, what, what would, what would this be? This one could be normal. I'm not necessarily sure because it doesn't really look like it, but there, there's that. We can see a pool. We can see two pools, actually. So there's that, the Pokemon Center, the Gym Battle Building. So yeah, all these genuinely look a little bland, but obviously it's because we generally don't know what the other buildings are used for. They could just be for cosmetics. They could be some for something else. So yeah, if we actually go north and take the other path instead of going south, we can actually see that we head to a certain stone formation with two towers and one of the towers actually seems to be sunk. Could be a ruins place, not necessarily sure. So there's the, ruin, there's the rock formation. The rocks might have something to do with like something in the middle being there. You can see that there's flags actually if you head to the right. And if you see right next to the flags, there's a place right here where it doesn't look like it's gonna be a... Actually, it does look like it's gonna be a gym battle place because, you know, there's a fucking battlefield there. I don't... I think I also see the building. The building's right there towards the front. Also, all the buildings I think are generally gonna look the same. Like, they're gonna be looking like the Xbox... Xbox... The newest Xbox. What is that shit? I don't know what the fuck it's called, but it's that, but, you know, fucking white. So yeah, this one could be the water one because it, ha it is surrounded by water, but it could also just be something completely different. But right now it does look like it would represent water as far as we are aware. So if we continue to the left and we go up north, we can see that there's a little building. We can see that there is no battlefield, so this probably is just going to be another little town. But we also see that there's another tower and this one's yellow. So it could represent electric, so there could be another grass one just so it can have the four types. We see a Pokemon Center there. It's obviously not it's obviously not. It's not in the build it's not in the town, so this town could be used for one specific purpose, and that's its entire reason for being there. We see another tower. You can see that if we continue going east, we can see that there's two there's two that there's two Pokemon Centers in one town and we actually see that there is no battlefield there so probably not a gym place but it seems that this place actually has a specific purpose to analyze what is going on in the middle with all the clouds surrounding it we actually also see that there's water going down there so we know that it's not just a you know uh endless bottomless pit you know we actually see that that could represent them studying that because obviously I feel like if you live here and you see that you're gonna be fucking intrigued and want to study it so yeah, if we just go east, we can see, well, east-north. If you go east and follow the path, you can actually see another tower. We can see that we're actually heading towards another place. And we can see that there's one... We can actually see that there's one Pokemon Center, and we can actually see that there's the green tower <laughs> that is there. So, and there's flags there. So it seems that it could represent the treasure hunt or maybe the race aspect of the game where you have to go through four there might be a fifth for all i know uh for the four towers and the regular brown uh old looking towers are used for something else you can see that there's obviously waterfalls because we're elevating so there's that and if we just go east and if we take the waterfall going up with coridon you can actually see that there's probably the town for Grusha. However, this is interesting because there's two Pokemon buildings there. The Pokemon Battle Buildings. We see Grusha's Battlefield. Oh, wait, no, it's still weird. Because there's Grusha's, so we know that there's the Ice type. But there's two different buildings. I wonder if it, I wonder if there's a reason for that. But yeah, there's Grusha's place. This is Glassadao, so there's that. 
If we continue going north through the zigzag trials, we can see that there's another tower there, but it seems that it's just one of the brown ones missing a level. We can see that there's a Pokemon tower, we can see that there's a waterfall. If you go through all this, we can see that there's actually purple flags this time, meaning that there's actually different colored flags for each one because at the green tower, there's a red. And if we go back down to the other ones, there is the black ones, maybe a dark navy blue, so there's that. So yeah, there's a the purple flags, there's the Pokemon Center, then there's another Pokemon in the town. We can see that there's a battlefield. However, there's no battle, there's no gym leader building, so this probably isn't just a place to... This isn't a place that... This isn't a place that there would be a gym battle, and it's probably just there for battling. We actually see that if we head east, that there's actually a, one of the old towers with three levels. Might serve each tower might serve a different purpose, which each with the amount of levels that it has. We actually see that if we go back to the town, that there it looks like a more old type of place. Well, not old type of place, but more old timey. And if we go east, we can actually see that there's a place with a gym battle building, and we can see that it also has. If you go to the east, we can see that this is where the blue tower is, so there's the other blue tower. We can also see that this is the place where in the trailer they talked about the rich culture, that those are the three buildings, so this might be tied into that fact that there's the rich culture. We can also see that there's no gym battle building, so this might not be a gym battle place. So there's that. We can actually see that there's some red flags if we go to the left a little. And if we go to the right a little, we see another tower, so there's that. And this entire... Okay, so this is interesting, because I said that there is no battle building, but I, I just saw it. Does that mean that the battle place in the middle is the place where you battle? Because it doesn't look like all the other battlefields. So this could be a place where you battle. And this one, to me, seems like it'd be more the water one, so the other one could be... Psychic, Ghost, Electric. I This could be Electric, actually. Oh, this one's probably Electric, because it seems that it's full of the rich culture and the advanced society, and the other one's probably, like... Because the old, dude looks like an old timey type of dude, so it's probably going to be water. So there's that. So if we continue going south, we can actually see that there's a Pokemon Center along the way to another town that has two Pokemon Centers. And actually see that it has a green battle uh, floor, meaning that this could, this one could be grass, the other one's the bug. Uh, earlier in the video, and we can see that this one is probably the place that had the Sunflora. Probably confirming the fact that this is probably the grass place and they have some flora on their team. So there's that, we can see that if we go to the west that there's two towers on on each side of the road. We can see that there's a Pokemon Center and we actually made our way back to Mezagoza. So we went through the entire town, so let's just go through the aspects of everything else that doesn't have to do with the towns. We can actually see that there is a bunch of different biomes, you can see that there's uh, more rocky terrain. We can see that there's a desert. We can see that there's the the marsh, not marshlands, but like a place full of water that sort of represents in the Pokemon Sword and Shield the place right next to Mustard's place. We can see that there's like a big lake place, so we're probably gonna find a lot of water types. There's actually a place where I didn't really mention because I just realized right now because it was fucking really close to the fucking. It was really close to the fucking clouds, and what is obviously probably gonna be Kalos because Spain and France are connected exactly like this. That there's this place right here that has two towers and the yellow flag. And we can actually see that this place just doesn't necessarily seem to be like a gym place, but it's obviously gonna be important because it has the flags there, so it wants you to go through here. So. That one, I guess, could be the more mountainous, but not necessarily, like, mountainy. Like, I don't know how to say, like, it has mountains, but you're not exploring the mountains. So there's that, and then to the fucking east, we have the grasslands. To the fucking west, we have the... Not savannah, but, like, the plains, I guess, is the best way I can say it. I'm not, I'm not the best with biomes, I'm not sure how I... And say that and if you go all the way toward the left around the windmills we can actually see that there's a place with a with an opening and that looks like a door and it looks like it might represent something else because it sort of looks like a mountain and the gym leader logo the gym the logo on the gym battle buildings actually looks a little like that but 
This looks a little pixelated, so there's that. Uh, if we go around, we can actually see that there's a bunch of different places we can see around the not a different not a bunch of different places, but you can obviously see that there's probably going to be something behind the ice mountains because it looks like you're going to be able to go around the entire region. Originally, I thought that the when I first saw this map, that the orange and yellow glowing things might have been like little rocks that keep you from exploring too much, but we can actually see that there's all over the region, so that's not possibly, that possibly isn't true. So if we actually look at it all around, we can see that all these places are pretty, pretty easily accessible. That's what I was trying to say. So yeah, and we can actually see that towards the southeast, we can see that there's another Pokemon Center. So that place could be pretty important. It could be the place where we meet Koraidon and Maridon. Just basing off my memory, I think we were on a sandy type of place. So that could be it. Especially because it's pretty close to our house. So there's that. Alright, future me talking here. I just want to say that <laughs> I don't think that that's the same beach. It's pretty close, but I think it might actually be the one where it's the one literally right behind Nimona's house because just basing it off the scenery, it the the red rocky type of place kind of looks a lot farther than what the one on the Pokemon Center is at. So yeah, I just think that the one at your house is probably the one. I don't know. It just makes sense when you look at it together. The only interesting thing is that there's not a pretty dense forest area. Like there's trees and all, but there doesn't look like a place where you'd actively be going into a forest besides a little bit to the east of the circle, of the middle circle where there's the yellow trees. But besides that, I don't see any other place where it can be a forest besides top right where there's some trees, but it's not necessarily like a big forest. So yeah, honestly, that's a lot of, that's pretty much all I can say besides all that. I mean, in terms of living conditions, we can see that the treehouse is probably where Professor Sato is. The dome is probably where Professor Turo lives, unless they're married because Arvin does look like both of them combined. So there's that. Ar Arvin might be a Tam Traveler from the future come to here so he can make sure that his parents get together so he doesn't die. There's that. Jock probably lives on campus. We obviously know where we live. Penny probably is right next to our house and she might just go to mo moving campuses because obviously it's a pretty big distance. And honestly, just by seeing this entire shit and analyzing it, it's probably not, I probably could be doing better, but point is that this is a fucking huge place. Like I generally don't know if I covered a bunch of different gym places. Like just to do a quick recap, there is there a gym place in the first at first in Mezzagoza. As far as I see, I don't see what the gym battle the gym leader building. But it could just be hidden inside the fucking academy, so it could be that and it could be one of the teachers that actually battles. So there's that. So there's that. We see that on the left. There is one gym battle building that I believe is bug. If you continue to going to the if you continue to go to the bottom left, there's another one. That one could be ghost actually, now that I think about it. Because it could be like a ghost town. If we go up and we go to that watery place, that could probably be the that probably could be the normal. Wait, no. This is the water one. Yeah, that's what I said. So that's three gyms. If we... We obviously know Grusha's is up north, so that's four. If we go to the one on the east, where I believe is the electric gym, that's five. Six is gonna be the one with the grass type. That's slightly below the what I believe is the electric gym. So it is that. So that leaves... I did ice, I did grass, I did, I did ice, I did grass, I did water, I did bug, I did electric, I did ghost, 
I didn't do Psychic. Psychic could just be somewhere else because I don't see another place where it could be gym battle building besides Nezagoza. Actually, there is an 8th battle building. And it's the one right next to Grusha's. That's 8, but they're so close together in the same spot. But just because they're close together doesn't necessarily mean that they're not the same because there's the what I believe is the electric gym and what I believe is the grass gym. So that that's the eighth one. And what would that be? Psychic? Interesting. I don't hold up. Because there isn't a battle place. It's just the battle building. Interesting. I generally don't know. All right, time for just some quick little updates. Now I realized <laughs> in the last one when I was counting up the gyms, I only counted seven in total, counting that second one in the Glaciado City or Glaciado Town, whatever the fuck it is. So yeah, there's still another one missing. <laughs> so there's that. All right, future, future me here. I can't believe I'm fucking stupid. I didn't see the one in the fucking Observatory Town. So yeah, there's the mystery 8th gym, and I don't think I covered what type I think it is, but it's probably, I mean, it left Psychic, so it could be Psychic, but to me it looks more like flying, and I obviously don't trust the fucking typings anymore because of the dumbass leaker, in quotes. So yeah, that, I guess that's just gonna be Psychic if I'm going with what that motherfucker says. But there's also the fact that I also have some screenshots from the fucking videos, so I'm just gonna try my best to add them into the video, like add the screenshots into the terrain of the of the of the of the map. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So yeah. All right. So now, as I'm speaking, you're gonna see me with some screenshots from the trailers and all that, all the videos that Pokemon has released with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and just the screenshots and where they could possibly be on the map. So there's that. Uh, also towards the end, you're gonna see that I'm not gonna, I'm not quite sure where they're gonna be, uh, where certain screenshots are gonna be because they're so, they're so common, not common, like they're so bland to say, I guess, is the best word I can think of right now. But yeah, like it's just a tree with mountain in background and all of them have like a mountainous background and tree, so I just tried my best. Uh, I'm, pr I'm definitely not right. I know for a fact I'm not right. But yeah, uh, there's that. I also didn't include certain screenshots that were just gonna be repetitive. Like it was pretty much the same thing, just a different angle. I, I included some with different angles only because it, it led me to be like, oh yeah, so it's definitely right here. So yeah, that's the only reason I have multiple angles, but otherwise, that's why there's not like fucking 20 different screenshots of just the fucking house, of the beginning person's house, because we know it's the house, we, we just need certain angles and that's all. It's just gonna be dumb to keep on having the same thing over and over again. So yeah, hope you guys liked looking at the screenshots and maybe continue looking at the screenshots because I don't know how long this shit's gonna be going. So yeah, if you think, especially for the ones later on where I'm unsure, where I make my way around the region and then I just go back to beginning with spots I'm not sure of. Uh, let me know if like, oh no, this place right here, this screenshot at blah 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 timestamp is actually around blah blah blah. So yeah, let me know if there's something like that because I obviously do want to know, hence why I'm doing this entire video because I'm interested in it, but yeah.
don't know. I think I did my best analyzing all of this. So yeah, I don't know. If I left something out, let me know because I actually want to know a bunch of this. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe because being your boy soccer sucks. Later suckers. Thank you.